Marissa. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, this video is coming a lot sooner than expected, but I am actually rescuing a hamster and my friend is going to take care of the hamster until I can when I get married because my family does not want another hamster in the house. So right now I'm just cleaning out all of Rue's old hamster items um, that are wood and then we're going to be cleaning out the cage and getting ready to bring home this hamster. I'll show you guys on the screen pictures of the hamster ad. It was on Kijiji right near where I live. Um, and as you can tell, the hamster has a sore eye. Um, I don't think it's gotten vet medical attention for that and I don't know what happened. But the person told me she's willing, sorry that's my cat, <laughs> the person who has the hamster told me they're willing to give it to me for free. I don't know the gender of the hamster or anything like that, but it's in a really small cage and I'm just excited to give it a good home. It's about a year old, by the way, I asked her and that's what she told me. So yeah. Ignore this part of the messy sink, but right now I'm just filling up this with water. It's like boiling and some soap and I saw this method from Erin's Animals. It was about five years ago, but she said you could soak the wood um, in toys um, and let them soak for about 20 minutes and then let them dry and that's one way to clean them. Another way is to use the oven, which I may be doing just depending on what wooden supplies I have. So yeah. Max. Max. Just the silhouette. Sil silhouette of <laughs> Rocky. I can't see that word, but just look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. So these are all the wooden rug objects I found, and there's some plastic things in there that I'm just gonna soak. And then over here we have the ones that are gonna go in the oven. Um, the reason these ones are going in the oven is because it has bark that could kind of come off and colors. That's what I heard from <laughs> Aaron's animals. So I'm just gonna soak these for 20 minutes, put these in the oven for 20 minutes. I'll put on the screen how long I, or the temperature I put them in at, because I have to look again. Then I'm going to be going and wiping down my plastic objects. Okay, so this is my collection of plastic items, which is honestly way bigger than my wooden collection, which is a little sad because I wish I had more wooden toys, but I am going to be rinsing these and then spraying them with a solution I made of vinegar and water. I might need to add more in here because as you can see it's kind of low but it should be good and then I'll just wipe them with paper towel and yeah. It's been a bit of a hectic day. It's 10.30 at night and I do not have the hamster. I'm getting him tomorrow. I'm assuming it's a boy hamster, but I honestly don't know. I'll have to check when I get there. But um, we decided we're gonna name him Captain for a pirate because he's got one eye closed. Um, yeah, so. We're gonna name him Captain Munch, as in like Captain Crunch, but Captain Munch. <laughs> we think it's cute, but yeah, so she, he's gonna be staying with my friend. So I'm just packing up all of his stuff, as you guys know. And just cleaned it all for the new hamster. 
Sure, you guys, I did go to the store, so I got some things, and I'll show you guys the haul. So, I had no idea, but Petland, a store, I think it's just in Canada, but it could be wrong, sells, um, wooden wheels, which I've been looking for one forever, and Night Angel is sold out right now. So, I opened this, and I put some cork in it. It's not perfect, as you can see. The, like, it's not perfect at all. There's like a little bump there, but I don't think that will matter. And it's, it's like really glides really easy. It's You can hear it a little bit, but it's so much quieter than my other one. So I'm really excited about that. More things I bought was um, millet sprays. I just put them in a nicer container because, you know. Um, I got Hig Higgins Sunburst food, the gourmet one. And I got mealworms. The hamster and I just put it in my own little package. Then I got this cute little hut thing and these chews and then I also got some bedding and a little food dish. Sorry this is a whole mess. I'm like doing my DIY stuff <laughs> but yeah. Good morning everybody. It is obviously the next morning and I did some stuff. I moved some stuff into the front step area where um, all the stuff will be and then we are picking it up after my mom's done work so she's a teacher so it'll be this after late afternoon sometime but we're gonna stay at her school and like do some work together and then I'm going to go pick it up and then we'll take it home eat supper and I can observe it take some pictures it is tame and everything Okay, so at my mom's school, we decided to make these cute little captain um, add-ons to the cage. We'll just put them on the outside on the glass, and they look really, really cute. Alright everyone, this is Captain Munch. As you can see, her one eye is a little sore and she is a girl. And as you can see, I think I'll take her to the vet if I can soon. But she's very friendly and curious and the reason I am handling her is that they wanted out of the cage and she was really moving around in there and she is hand tame and she doesn't seem distressed at all. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video with updates on Captain.